caravan were pushed out of this area. And Halo came in and, and surveyed this area, and they were found one old gentleman sitting by the road Good saying, time. "You need to help us. Well, you know, we cannot come back to our land. We have, you know, all the families have left. They've gone to Pakistan or they've moved somewhere else, and this place was just unsafe for normal living. When we find a mine." destroyed in situ and then in the position that we found it we place a green stone so it gives a mark where the mines were so it gives some visualization to the problem that we're dealing with here. Afghanistan is one of the most heavily mined countries in the world. Since 1979 an estimated 640,000 mines have been laid and today this deadly legacy presents a huge risk to Afghans returning to their communities. All these Zamilis, the Fakatam Kajua, they have Piaz Mikori, Am Sabijo, the Gong Kachori, the Gong Piaz Nazi, the Gong Militur Han Gazana, Nisho Mikori. Momade Mamoto, we are the old Mutamoto, we have tracked up on him. Since 1988, the Halo Trust has destroyed hundreds of thousands of mines across Afghanistan. UK Aid, through the Department of International Development, has contributed nearly 11 million pounds in the four years to this work. Halo trains and employs Afghan D-miners who are dedicated to freeing their country from the threat of mines forever. <laughs> Thank you. 